This man has climbed the top of Sweden in a wheelchair. He never gives up despite his weakness because he is paralyzed in his legs. He achieved something amazing and impossible. I remember in 2002, when two years after I started working with the development of artificial heart, a well-known Swedish heart surgeon told me that you, are, that you are climbing a very high vertical mountain. It is impossible to succeed. And he told me, don't do it. After meeting him, I had two options and two choices. Either I give up the idea of developing an artificial heart, or I continue to work on it. At that time, I had no experience in product development. I wasn't an engineer. And I lack, I lack the financial means. But on the other hand, I had my self-confidence and the, the belief that I will manage it and I will do it. A few years later, before I moved to, before I moved to Sweden, exactly in 1995, I worked in a heart center. I was very depressed when I saw many patients were suffering their heart disease. It hurts in my heart to that day that they couldn't breathe in good way. The panic in their eyes, I remember it until today. Doing something to these patients wasn't an option, but an obligation. The decision to go a very long way on the development of artificial heart, it wasn't so easy. It took a lot of my energy and time. During this time, I was forced to acquire knowledge, technical skills. I did research. I worked at the day in the hospital and at home in my laboratory in the evening. I want to make something to these patients. I was insisted to help them and to overcome all the difficulties. 14 years after I started developing the artificial heart, I and a team of heart surgeons implanted the artificial heart for the first time in a pig. The operation was successful. I remember a few minutes before uh, running the heart, the artificial heart, the anesthesiologist told us, hurry up, the animal was in critical situation. Few seconds after running the heart, he told us the animal was stable now. The oxygen saturation in the blood increased from 80% to 99%. At that moment, my tears ran. I couldn't control them. It was very emotional. 
because I was working a long time without knowing whether the artificial heart would work or not. But that day, I had proof that it would work. That day, I felt that I, had, uh, that I had reached the top of the mountain I had started to climb. The top of the mountain that my colleague had warned me to avoid it. <clears throat> if you want to be a successful, you must be talented, you must work very hard. You need to be honest, you need to be humble, you need to trust in yourself, you need to be a team worker. This is the only way for us to overcome the difficulties and to make something new. Real Heart is a name of an intelligent, total artificial heart. Real Heart is a new generation of a heart pump that we developed in Sweden together with an amazing team of competent people from different countries. Real Heart TH mimics the structure and physiology of the natural heart. The imitation of the natural heart gives the heart pump unique properties and make it to be, to be adapted inside the body of the human in good way. We are in the face of the chronic animal stage, chronic animal trials, having completed the fitting and acute animal trials. The next st step will be the clinical trials in a human. Soon, we will realize our, our vision that no one will die of heart failure. That the patients will have a good quality of life. They can easily to breathe and they will survive and be happy. <clears throat> Believe in yourself. Believe in your abilities. Work very hard. Get knowledge. And dream big. Start thinking outside the box. Believe me, there is nothing is impossible. Thank you.